Hello guys, welcome back to Cup of Teach and today we're going to discuss zero and negative integral exponents. Zero and negative integral exponents are under the laws of exponents. So before we discuss it, we have to discuss first the product rule. In the product rule, if a raised to m times a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n. So mapapansin nyo dito, they have the same base. Base nito is A, the other one is also A. So, they have the same base, you just copy. Add the exponents. Let's have an example. X cubed times X squared, same base, which is X. So, you have to copy, add the exponents. And that is X raised to the fifth power. Another example, 2X raised to 4N times 3x raised to 2n. Same base, which is x. 2 and 3, you have to multiply it. Then, add the exponents. That is 2 times 3 times x. That is the common base. And then, add the exponents. 4n plus 2n. So, that is 6x raised to 6n. Second rule. This is the quotient rule. In the quotient rule, if a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n. So, sa case na to, ang exponent natin is to subtract if they have the same base. So, ang same base nila dito, a. So, you just copy and then subtract the exponents. Example x to the fourth power divided by x squared. Same base, which is x. We just copy it and subtract the exponents. So that is x squared. Next, 10x raised to the seventh power over 5x cubed. Same base, x. Yung 10 and 5, we're going to divide it. 10 divided by 5, that is 2. So, that is 2x. Then, subtract the exponents, 7 minus 3. So, that is 2x raised to the fourth power. Another example, 7x to the fifth power over 21x cubed. So, sa case na to, we're going to simplify 7 over 21 which is 1 over 3. Since ang x natin ay same base, so you just copy, then subtract the exponents, 5 minus 3. So that is 1 third x squared. Next is the power rule. In the power rule, the quantity a raised to m, quantity raised to n is equal to a raised to m times n. So, isa lang ang base, you just copy. And then, multiply the exponent if one exponent is outside the parentheses. Let's have an example. The quantity of x cubed, quantity squared, so you just copy the base, that is x, then multiply the exponent. So, that is x raised to the third power times 2. And that is x raised to the sixth power. Another example. The quantity of 3y raised to the fourth power, x cubed, quantity squared. So, meron tayong exponent outside the parentheses. All you have to do is to multiply it inside or distribute it inside one by one. So, we will have now 3 squared, y raised to the fourth power times 2, x cubed times 2. So, eto na yung 2 na dinistribute natin inside bago tayo mag-multiply. So, kailangan natin bigyan isa-isa yung nandun sa loob ng parentheses. And then, pwede na tayo mag-simplify. 3 squared, that is 3 times 3. And that is equal to 9. Then, y raised to the fourth power times 2, that is y raised to the eighth power. x cubed times 2, that is x raised to the sixth power. So, this is now the final. Another example, the quantity of x over y, quantity cubed, 
So, since meron tayong numerator, may denominator tayo. Then, nasa loob siya ng parentheses. And then, we have exponent outside the parentheses. All you have to do is to distribute it inside for x and for y. So, we will have now x cubed over y cubed. Another example, we have here the quantity of 2x over 3y quantity cubed. So, we have to distribute the exponent inside one by one for the numerator that is 2 cubed x cubed. For the denominator that is 3 cubed y cubed. Then, pwede na tayo mag-simplify. Let us simplify 2 cubed. That is 2 times 2 times 2. And that is 8x cubed. So, yung x cubed, kinapi lang natin. And then, 3 cubed, that is 3 times 3 times 3. Equal to 27. Then, kapi lang natin yung y cubed. And let's have now the zero exponent. And the zero exponent, if a raised to 0, equal to 1. If a is a non-zero number. Let's have an example, number 1, x raised to 0 times x raised to the 6th power times x cubed. So, they have the same base. Pero sa case nito, si x raised to 0, it will become 1. So, that is 1 times x. Since they have the same base, x, you just copy. And then, you have to add the exponents. So, they are 6 plus 3. The final answer is x raised to the 9th power. Let's have another. The quantity of 4x plus 5, quantity raised to 0. So, mapapansin nyo, meron tayong open and close parentheses. Ibig sabihin, nakagroup siya. So, itong isang group na to, nakaraise kay 0. Therefore, the answer is 1. Number 3. 5x raised to 0. So, sa case na to, yung 0 nakaraise lang kay x. So, therefore, yung x lang ang magiging 1. Yung 5, hindi siya maapektuhan. So, you just copy 5 and then times 1. The answer is 5. Next, x raised to 0 over 3y. So, mapapansin nyo ang 0 nakaraise lang sa numerator and that is x. So, therefore, yung numerator lang na to ang magiging 1. So, that is 1 over 3y. Next is negative exponent. If a raised to negative n, exponent natin dito, negative. So, kailangan natin siyang gawing positive. Get the reciprocal. So, that is 1 over a raised to n. So, this time, ang exponent na natin ay positive. Let's have an example. x raised to negative 2. So, negative 2 exponent natin, get the reciprocal. So, that is 1 over x squared. Number 2, quantity a minus c, quantity raised to negative 5, over quantity a minus c, quantity squared. So, same base natin. You just copy, subtract the exponent. Apply muna natin ang quotient rule. So, that is quantity a minus c, quantity raised to negative 5, minus 2. And then, quantity a minus c, quantity raised to negative 7. Exponent natin dito, naka-negative. Get the reciprocal. That is equal to 1 over quantity a minus c, quantity raised to 7 power. Number 3. Quantity a plus b, quantity raised to negative 5, over Quantity A plus B, quantity raised to 0. So, mapapansin nyo ang denominator natin, naka-raise sa 0. So, kapag ang exponent natin ay 0, automatically that is equal to 1. So, we will have now, quantity A plus B, quantity raised to negative 5, over 1. Then, simplify, that is quantity A plus B, quantity raised to negative 5, Naka-negative ang ating exponent. Get the reciprocal. And the reciprocal of that, 1 over quantity A plus B, quantity raised to the fifth power. Plus is quantity X 
raised to 0, y cubed, over 2x cubed. Quantity raised to negative 3. So, distribute muna natin ang negative 3 inside numerator at saka sa denominator. So, we will have now, the quantity x raised to 0, y cubed, quantity raised to negative 3, over quantity 2x cubed, quantity raised to negative 3. Ang exponent natin, parehong naka-negative. Sa numerator at sa denominator. So, we need to get the reciprocal. And the reciprocal of that, that is 2x cubed, quantity raised to the third power, over quantity x raised to 0, y cubed, quantity cubed. Then, distribute natin inside yung exponent outside the parentheses, yung 3. So, that is 2 cubed, x cubed times 3. And then, sa denominator, yung x raised to 0, that is equal to 1. Then, y cubed, and then times 3. Simplify natin. 2 cubed, that is 2 times 2 times 2. That is equal to 8. Then, x cubed times 3, that is x raised to the 9th power. And then, yung 1 dito, pag minultiply natin kay y, that is y. Then, 3 times 3, 9. So, that is why we have here y raised to the 9th power. Thank you for watching. That's it for this video. If you learned something here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Cup of Teach. See you on the next lesson. Bye!